Hey guys, what's up? It's Simon Creative Productions and today I am celebrating the release of Suicide Squad. I did speak pretty fast, but yeah, I'm kind of in a rush to do this because I know I'm late to do this. I, I was planning to do this like on Friday, like a day after the thing released, but well, I didn't get to that because I didn't finish any figures. I only got Katana done and um, Harley Quinn done on the weekend, luckily, but now they're ready and... Just to tell you, I might be making a second part because I didn't complete all the figures, but I thought four was good enough. So, um, of course, there is uh, Deadshot, Captain Boomerang, Harley Quinn, and Katana. And I'm really excited to show this and um, stay in tune for future content in my channel and as well as um, other vlogs that come up. So, that keep in check with my channel. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so starting off with Harley Quinn, I am so ex so happy with this figure to be honest because I did not expect it to turn out this well, especially the face. I thought that I did pretty good with the face because the first try I did the face, it was actually pretty ugly. I should have taken a picture because it looked like she was like some kind of freak, which she is, but you know what I mean, like really ugly. Even worse than my Quicksilver face, and my Quicksilver face was like really ugly. So, first of all, I want to talk about the hair. Okay, this hair is not actually a Lego hair piece. I just sculpted the whole thing. Um, because I didn't have the hair and I, it was too late for me to get it anywhere. So, I just decided to sculpt my own. And, um, I'll talk about the weapon right now, which is, uh, um, the bat. Which I, uh, painted good night on it. But, I didn't be, I didn't get time to do any patterns or anything on it. And I got this bat from, um... Nelson from the Simpsons line. Yeah, I got it from there. So, um, yeah, and he didn't really need the bat So I just gave the Harley Quinn and I just want to take this off and uh, so I'm actually really happy with this figure and how it turned out like first of all right in the shirt how it says uh, I didn't exactly t like paint every single uh, letter in there, but I did daddy which is like the first line then the H which is yeah, and the, it's meant to say another word, I forgot, but, uh, yeah, that's all I could make, which is so hard to do, I had to do it, like, twice to get that done, and some of my letters are a bit offline, which is, uh, pretty bad, but, um, so I'll get onto the side, and the sleeves, which look pretty good, because they have this, uh, white design on both sides, this side is not as clean as the other side, this side's a bit cleaner, and then, of course, the gauntlets, which are yellow, which are right there, and it's a bit pretty hard to see, but, um, yeah, and then skin color hands that I painted, because now I have this new skin color that I like using, this hand's white, so, um, yeah, the face as well, this face is pretty cool, it's when she's actually really happy and she does weird things, and on her back, uh, it has nothing much, because this is just a t-shirt, like, nothing else, not even her jacket or anything, so, um, of course, this was the quite hard as well, the fishing net, or the net on all four sides, which was so hard to do, to be honest. I had to keep doing it, and I finally got it right. And then, um, her, her high heels on both sides. This was hard to do the pattern. I just simply did it, and somehow it worked out, which looks pretty cool, to be honest. I kind of liked it. And, yeah, so that's done with Harley Quinn, and... Of course, there's skin color there as well, and on the back. So, let's move on to the next finger, Captain Boomerang. Okay, guys, this is Captain Boomerang. I was so excited to actually paint this figure, to be honest, because when I watched The Flash and everything, I just love Captain Boomerang, like, back in the comics and everything, because I thought what he did with those boomerangs were awesome. So, I watched the movie, of course, and to be honest, I loved him in the movie. He did act a bit weird, so I had to make him look like he was a kind of like a pirate thing, yeah. So I made him look quite weird, to be honest. And I gave him his tooth that he had, his fake tooth. And um, his jacket was quite, it's not correct, like the color scheme, to be honest. But it's not meant to be black, it's meant to be this like really dark gray or something. Yeah, but I don't have dark gray. And I didn't want to paint his whole suit silver, which looked weird. So, of course, um, I did paint his boomerang. I did sculpt this by myself, but I thought it, uh, I couldn't 
get a boomerang from like a Lego piece or something, even though you can. Because I saw on Michael and GF's uh, boomerang that he did have like this Lego custom boomerang, which looked awesome. But I don't have that. So I'll, another thing I want to talk about is the hair. This hair is not a Lego hair piece as well. I know I sculpted quite a lot of hair pieces, but this is pretty cool because um, I was planning to use this at one point. But I decided that that doesn't look 100% correct. So I decided to sculpt like this bumpy thing, which I use like toothpicks, which is like right here. And I just make bumps in it and stuff. So it looks pretty cool from that. Of course, I painted his beard and his eyebrows to make him look like he's angry. And then right there in the bottom, that's actually duct tape right there. And I, I did paint all around. And these used to be like red legs and red bodies and stuff. And then I painted his, um, this sil three silver lines and this brown padding he had on his uh, left hand. And this small silver thing he had on his right hand so that holds the boomerang. So I did make a really battle damaged glove right here for his thing. And um, I did uh, add, I sculpt these side bits, but they're not correct either. They're meant to be a different color. They're meant to be like really light gray or something like that. But I don't really care but to be honest I thought I could make this figure way better but of course I didn't and then I painted the teeth and this is actually stuck on so I didn't have like a my own jacket or anything so you can't open this up but this says a T for like captain like T was right in the middle so that's the collar right there on top of it so yeah guys I guess that's it let's uh, move on to the next figure uh, dead shot Okay, guys, this is my favorite figure of this bunch, but because I worked so hard on this. It's not even funny. It's the first figure I finished, but it's the hardest I worked on. So I just want to talk about the head. I did not make his Will Smith head because I liked his um, white head, which uh, actually has all the details, which looks pretty sick. I had to paint it like twice, but it doesn't really matter. And uh, I made him have a white eye because he looks pretty cool, and I just hit the stand. And... His armor, I had to paint a lot of tiny details in the armor, and it kind of looks scrappy, but I still like it for some reason. And um, I added his two ammo packs on the side, and I didn't give him his big gun, to be honest. I just gave him his gun he had on the side, which I painted. It's like red, and then a yellow um, gun top, and then his side guns right there, and there. And I also added this huge ammo pack he has for his big gun, but I didn't include that. Right there. I sculpted it on so you can't take it off. And um, for his two um, knee pads, um, they're actually not normal knee pads you normally see. So, yeah, I have to change the camera view for a bit. Um, so, yeah, just take a look. Yeah. So, in the middle, is actually meant to be like a, like, kind of like the middle of his armor. Which I painted silver and make it look cool. And then this was pretty tedious right there. If you see in his glove, there's like three straight lines on both sides. That was really hard to do because I had to put it in after I've sculpted both of these on. And his shoulder pads. I painted three silver lines because there's like these three bumps in his shoulder pads. And I decided to put a strap around it, which looks pretty cool as well. So look, the mask, and then that's his, um, his eye he uses to shoot and things like that. But apparently Harley Quinn, spoiler alert, called him a pussy when he wore this, uh, mask for some reason. So, uh, going to the back now, this is his gun, uh, two guns he puts on the back, and then he just starts firing. So in the movie, if you haven't watched the movie, you should actually go and watch it, because it's pretty good, but... If you're a young kid, you shouldn't go watch it. You have to be like a teenager to watch them. And then, yeah. So, and then of course, this um, back part. And by the way, the red is different on the back. It's more of a really light red. Then, like, if you want a really light red that is different from a dark red, you just paint yellow, and then you take, like, a red marker or something, and then you just put it over. It looks, makes it look really shiny and cool. Look at that. See, it's not as shiny in the front. And um, that's his back pad. And then 
the head just continues around as well. So, yeah, I'll just give you a closer look at the gun. Right there. And I also painted the bottom yellow. So, yeah, to the next figure now. Um, Katana. Okay, guys, so for Katana, I have to really say she was a pretty hard figure to do. And I had to do this over the weekend. And I started her later than Harley Quinn. And to be honest, when I first started with her, I thought she was actually, it was too hard to do and it was going to be really bad. But I love how it turned out. It looks great. And uh, of course, I just want to talk about um, her jacket. I didn't give her any jacket or anything because it was pretty, like, she didn't really, like, move her jacket a lot. So I decided to just put it on and just leave it like that and there's this like flower pattern on the side i just moved the sword and um you can see right there and then i decided to do three petals right there because there's also one on her arm which i'll talk about later and then she's also wearing like a white singlet in the middle and then that's all skin color right there and i want to talk about her face as well and to be honest it was not a hard face to do like I did this pretty fast, to be honest. It was one of the first things I got done. And then I want to talk about the hair piece that I used for her, which is um Black Widow's hair piece, because I looked in the movie and I thought her hair swiveled up a bit at the bottom, so I decided to use this hair piece, and it looks okay. It's not that bad. And I just want to say first that this left arm does not have anything except for her silver shoulder pad, uh, shoulder, um, yeah, elbow pad at the back. So on his right hand is this Japanese flag, with like these black dots on the side and also this uh flower which uh just take it off and can look at it it was actually really hard to do because i had to make it really small so it would fit just in that small area and i thought that pretty good with it so yeah and then onto the back and i'll show her legs later and talk about that this was all the bands that came out i wanted to actually first do it in my cloth or something but I didn't have enough time, so I just started to paint everything, so that I connected everywhere and stuff, and I think it looks pretty cool, and then there's also like another flower right there, at the back, if you look in like the images of her back, like, like with toys and stuff, yeah, so, and I just want to talk about her weapon really quick, this is actually just the normal sword that I painted metallic silver on the front, and I did actually scrape it a bit so yeah and paint a bit of red there but anyway it still looks great and i thought i was actually planning to use this for my deadpool but it wouldn't fit in the backpack so i decided to just not use it anymore and um her red boots uh her knots in the middle and it's really hard to see but i tried to do chinese really small chinese symbols but i failed I know, but I still have to leave it there. And there's nothing back on her legs except for the boots. And I want to talk about this lastly, because this is like her cloth that wraps around her waist. That holds her um, her sword case, but you can't actually put your sword, my sword in there. But I just painted this red and then just painted this uh, plastic sheet I used to cut out this small uh, rectangle and just cover it over and then paint it red. Which looks pretty cool still, I still kind of like it. And, of course, um, that's it, guys. I can't really talk about anything else, but I really like this figure, to be honest. And, yeah, let's go on, get on, let's wrap up this video. I don't know what to say. Thank you for watching this video. And I cannot do this without you guys supporting me all the time. Like, like these two new people, like, as promised in my old video and my promotion channel intro thingy, whatever. Um... I promised you that I would uh, shout out to you guys, and um, I will, and I will shout out uh, Creative Productions, and I can't remember the other guy, but I promise I will look at him, I'll sh give a shout out to both of you after this video, because I will be doing a vlog soon, and I promise you guys that I will give you guys a shout out, so when I tell them, go subscribe to them, okay, go subscribe, and um, Go check out their channels and yeah so thank you guys for watching and uh i hope you enjoy my uh my the, this showcase and the future content that i post on this channel and that uh without your support guys i can't it's what makes me uh push to make these figures and uh 
and uh, tell me which figures your 